So today's video is brought to you by my very own coffee, Just a Dead Simple Sip Coffee. It's available in a K-cup, whole bean, and pre-ground 16-ounce bag. You can find it at justadadcoffee.com or right underneath the video, you will see the products displayed and you can click on them and purchase them right there. Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up for the first time when you unbox this, this iRobot Brava Jet M6. So I've just done the unboxing. I'm going to show you how to set it up, connect to the iRobot app and start using it. Okay, first, this is the docking station, so you're going to want to put it together, but it does have a cord. Plug the cord in. You can wrap it around the excess here, and we've got to find a good place for the dock first. Okay, here I've got the cord wrapped around. I'm ready to go. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now, this is the water tank up here. Lift that up. This is where you're going to put the water and solution. You're going to turn this, fill this up. Underneath, these are where the pads go. Now, you can put two different types of pads on. This is a dry pad. So I don't think it puts any solution down when you put, use that type of pad, but this is a wet mopping pad. And so I think it has a little sensor here that knows what pad's installed, but these just slide on in this little track here, and there's some Velcro. So just like to hold the ears up and just slide it on, you'll hear it kind of click. Now attach it so the Velcro, it doesn't really stick to those, no. Drive wheels, this is where it's going to charge. It doesn't put any solution out down here. It squirts it out the front. Yeah, taking these off, I can, this part here, yeah, that, that moves. But it doesn't put any solution down here. It's all out the front. And it all has, there's where the solution comes out. So this thing, it will map your room and it will stay away from carpet. I'm gonna show you that. But it uses that bumper a lot. So it's gonna run forward and then it realizes, okay, there was nothing there. If it doesn't hit anything, it says, there's nothing there. And then it backs up and then it squirts the solution. Then it runs over the solution with the pad. That's how the, it works mainly. Now you do get these sample pads in here, but these are gonna run out really quick. This is concentrated. You're supposed to dump it in there and then add the water to the rest. Okay, so here's the two different types of solution. When it comes in this big bottle, this is ready to use. So it's not concentrated. It's got the water and solution. You'll dump it in here just like this till it fills it up. Here, this is concentrated. So if you look on the back, the M6 takes six capfuls. You're gonna use that cap. Dump six capfuls in there, add your water, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna add one capful. I'm gonna do six more times. So if you fill it right to about there, that's six capfuls. Then I'm gonna go from here to there with water. Yeah, this is, this is made really nice. This is just like a quarter turn. Start there, turn it. This is made really nice. Lift this up. Again, this cap has to go in the back, but it's got a nice handle. And you just set it there. Very well made. Now again, with the charging station, make sure you got a foot and a half to the left, four feet in front of it, and four feet to the right, clear. Now it does talk about the different mopping pads. You got two types of washable, or you got the single use wet mopping and you got the one that you can uh, wash later. And then here's the dry sweeping pads. They have one that's washable and one that you throw away. That's, these are the ones you throw away. Again, there is not a vacuum on this. This is simply for washing your floors. Yeah, I've got the one that's gonna do mopping. This is the one you can wash. Now, when you dock it, it's gonna turn it on. So just kind of take it here and there's a big detent it'll go into. There, it fits really good. And it will turn itself on. There's a light right here. And there's a light that goes around Okay, so in the iRobot app, click the three little lines up here, and we're going to add your product. Now, it's going to be searching for it. It usually doesn't find it right away. Now, you can hit select, so you can scan the QR code, or you can select the product. If you still have your instructions, there's the QR code. So let's scan the QR code. It's going to have to gain access. It says I have the QR code. If not, you can just select what you have. You have the M6 Scan the QR code. It's going to want access to your camera there. All right. Okay, so it's that's a checklist. I've got it charging. Okay, I got my Wi-Fi password. I'm ready to go. It's in a good location. That's the Wi-Fi I want it to connect to. It found the good Wi-Fi. I could change it if I wanted to, but I'm going to put yes, continue. And I got to enter my Wi-Fi password. Now I gotta go down to the robot and press the spot and home button. Okay, I'm gonna press these two buttons right here. Okay, 
I got a solid blue light that's going in a circle. Come back to the app. I got to select that little, I got to check that little box, then hit continue. It's going to go through and check off the connect to Wi-Fi. It's going to verify your password. All three of those are going to get checked. And again, I do have mine paired with a virtual wall, so it will not go past this. I've got it in virtual wall. I want it to stay right in this room here. Okay. So it does talk to you. It told me that it's ready. It's all set up, ready to go. All right. Let's continue. Give it a name. I'm just going to leave that. Done. Now, I was really surprised how well this mapped my room. Without having lots of sensors to do all the mapping, it actually did a decent job. Now, it's not perfect. Now, this battery is going to be really low, but hit next. Learn the basics. It's going to step you through all of these. These are actually really good. I would watch each one of those. And as, as I thought, so it the Jet or the Brava Jet knows what pad you have installed. So it does it does sense what pad is installed. And if it doesn't have the one that picks up solution, it won't spray the solution. And it does detect and avoid carpets and rugs. This actually works pretty good. There must be some sensors on the bottom of it that do that. Yeah, I have to let mine charge for a little while. Then I'm gonna it'll do a mapping. I can hit map and I can create a map. And again, in this app, these things work excellent when you pair them with a, if you have an iRobot that does the vacuuming, and this one, you these things, can you can integrate them together on the app. It's pretty cool how that works. Okay, so the Bravia MJet M6, it's charged up enough. Now let's start it, let's do a mapping run. Now, if you already have like a J7 or a J6 that, that maps your house, and has a map you can just tag onto that map but click this you know i can retrieve my smart maps but i'm going to do this and i'm going to start a mapping run it says it needs light to navigate so turn your lights on open the doors and pick up stuff off the floor okay so it's going to start a mapping run okay so it says it's mapping it's undocking and it is it's, I don't think it's going to clean. I think it's just going to map. Now, it does bump into things to do the mapping. There's the virtual wall. It's not going to go past it. And I think that blue light, when it that blue light comes on, it senses the virtual wall. But I did this earlier without a virtual wall, and I have got carpet over here, and it... It will sense the carpet and stop. You'll, you'll see the carpet on your map, but you'll want to put something there so it won't mop the, the, mat, the carpet. And back to the app, you can kind of watch. It says it's mapping and how long it's been doing it. Okay, so it's done mapping the room. It's, it turns itself around and it's going to dock itself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it did, now it didn't clean very much, but I did hear it, the pump kick on a few times, even during the mapping run, so but it wasn't doing it very much. Okay, let's go back to the app here. It says it's ready to wet mop. Let's take a look at the map it made. New map. Yep, I want I could save it, but I wanna edit it. Uh, this is the downstairs. Now it does a good job. There was a rug over here. I wanna set the orientation. Yep, that's how it looks. There's a big rug there and a rug over here. So now, got it. Hit next. Add a room divider. Nope, I don't need to, but I could if I wanted to. Okay, we've done our mapping run. We got our map. I can set different favorites here. Put this thing on a schedule. That's gonna be the best thing for these is put it on a schedule. That's the, oh, that's what it did already. Create a schedule, and that's history, I'm sorry. Create a schedule right here. And do not disturb, you definitely wanna engage that do not disturb from nine to seven. Yeah, make sure that is slid over. Cleaning, create a schedule, pick what days you want, what time of the day. I find that to be very helpful. Messages, product settings. This is where you can go in and reconnect it to the Wi-Fi, reset it. Cleaning preferences, liquid amount. Do you, I want ultra, standard? I'm gonna just do standard. 
Uh, mopping overlay is 60%, 70% or do I want large? I'll just leave it where that's at. And down here, product, you've got the iRobot store, the help. The manual wasn't there. Let's see if it's there now. It had a different owner's guide. Oh yeah, no, it's there. It's, it's, this is where you find the owner's guide. I'm sorry, that was, not different. that was a different one. Yep, this is all here. So if you need the owner's guide. Yeah, let's just play around, tell it to mop everywhere. And I'll show you how it does it. See, when it backs up, it knows. So it's gonna spray some solution. And now it goes, it runs it over. See, it knows if nothing's in front of it because it'll, it tracks it first. It'll go, it'll run there first. And it says, oh, I didn't hit anything. So then it backs up and squirts some solution. But now it hit something, so it's not gonna spray anything. It's gonna go somewhere else. Again, no suction, it's only spraying solution and the mop pad is just mopping it up. Yeah, it, it's pretty neat. Yeah, see it made a big run forward. So it says, I know there's nothing there. Now I can spray solution and then I can run it over. That's how it does it. It actually works pretty good. I was a little skeptical about it at first. So it's constantly going back and forth. All right, see it made a run forward. Now it's gonna back up and spray the solution. And then it runs it over to clean it up. And it does a pretty good job. It's not too damp. It smells really good. All right, now it's gonna spray it out. It knows right where to spray it. And it is staying away from this rug, even though this rug, if this rug was carpet, it would stay away from it. But the neatest thing is how they've paired this with the other robot vacuum cleaners and the map. So they really want you to have this one to do the mopping and another one to do the vacuuming and have them paired together. They work together. They share the same map. Yeah, this thing is not very loud at all. Yeah, you just hear the wheels turning and sometimes squirting some solution out. That's it. So setup was super simple. I hope this video helps. I really do like this. I haven't been using it that long, but I actually really do like it. I'll be doing some more videos with it, maybe some maintenance on it. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of maintenance on it, but again, underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. So thanks everybody for watching my video today. Underneath the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, you can purchase all this coffee right below the video. You'll see links to them or go to justadadcoffee.com. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Recently, YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. That would not be possible without everybody's support. So again, I really appreciate it. I'm excited for this new adventure, branding my own coffee. Um, it, it tastes really good, and I hope you're going to definitely like it again. Hoping somebody asks you what your favorite cup of coffee is. It's just a dad simple sip coffee. And again, thanks so much for watching the YouTube channel. Also, be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with my products, I do a free giveaway on there and you can kind of see behind the scenes of how I make my videos. Also check out my podcast, Coffee with Dad podcast. This is where I interview different people. I love to hear everybody's story and I just think everybody has a story they want to tell. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button and thanks so much. Miss Fiona always knows when I'm doing a recording. <laughs>